Hello everyone, this is Jake from Fight Paranormal, and I hope you all are doing well so far. Um, it's been a while since I've done one of these formal sit-down videos and just kind of, you know, chew the fat with y'all. <laughs> now that that cringe worthiness is out of the way, uh, here lately we have been working on a few really cool projects. Um, I am not going to announce them just yet. I'm going to wait for just a little bit, but one of them is not paranormal related. It's more historical documentary related, but it's going to be in a series of four videos, which that's going to be a lot of fun to put together. And here lately, I've gotten more into Bigfoot stuff. You know, not specifically just, you know, people seeing Bigfoot or, you know, blurry photos and videos of Bigfoot, but also stuff like Missing 411, uh, the attacks at 8 Canyon, you know, in the 20th century. They're just little stuff like that. And I happened to run across some uh, um, recordings done by Ron Moorhead, who I interviewed several years ago. Actually, it's been about five years at this point. I interviewed him on the first podcast show I had about the Sierra Sounds. And, you know, that's the theory that you know some bigfoots big feet bigfoots what is the plural of bigfoots comment below what you think the plural of bigfoots is i think it's bigfoots um or it's kind of like you know geese goose goose geese any or deer there it is deer you know is it deers or deer so like i said comment that below i'd love to hear what your thoughts are but going back to what i said about ron moorhead in the 70s recorded a series of strange bigfoot vocalizations called samurai chatter and it gets that name because it sounds like, you know, it sounds like, you know, Chinese, Japanese or old samurais talking. And they're really, really fascinating recordings. Um, they're recorded, you know, I think three or four visits he's recorded them. And there's been people all over the world that have reported this. And there was one video, it was on YouTube, I actually have not found it since. But it was, I believe it was in Alabama or Georgia, and it was like mid-2000s. But they were saying that they would hear, you know, something with like a deep, scratchy voice that would call out from the woods, you know, late in the evening or early in the nighttime. And that eventually, after a few months of this happening, because it started off with like grunts and, you know, like something was trying to mimic speech. But after a while, they started hearing words like, hello, hey or you know come here or stuff like that so the theory is that it was a sasquatch and that it learned english over time and which is you know there are a lot of serious implications there but i've really gotten into that and it's actually cool because there's an old old uh tradition an old samurai tradition going back to them which you can never have enough you know samurai stuff but they're was a tradition, I forget what part or what clan, but they were saying that if you truly wanted to learn how to be a great samurai and, you know, make like the greatest sword ever, you have to see the old masters that are in the hills. And there's some version of the story that say the old masters lived in caves, they were completely covered in hair, but they still could speak and, you know, all of that stuff. So, you know, there's some people that theorize those were Bigfoots, but they somehow either, you know, crossed the land bridge between, you know, Russia and Alaska, or somehow they made it across. You know, now that I say that, I'm getting an image of, you know, like just a bunch of Sasquatches building a boat or raft or something, just like climbing on board going to America, which is ridiculous. Um, but there's a lot of really interesting stories, and there's a lot of people, you know, this is literally traditions going back hundreds of years that tell these stories, and now you have... You know, Ron Moorhead in the 70s recorded, you know, potential evidence that those are true. And then, you know, multiple people have come forward saying, yeah, I have heard Bigfoot talk and stuff like that. It's really, really fascinating. But that's something we've um, I've looked into here lately. So I might be doing a few videos on that. Um, I haven't done like a full debrief video on the Ghost of Gifford Courthouse yet, which if you haven't seen our latest documentary film, it is on our YouTube page. It's under Ghost of Guilford. Um, that was a lot of fun to make. I know it wasn't, you know, as paranormal as most of our content is, but, you know, it's, it's a story I've wanted to tell for so long. And, you know, I saw an opportunity for not just the historical value there, which for me, the historical stuff was good enough on its own, uh, you know, or I should say worth the trip on its own. But the paranormal stuff, that was something I actually thought about, you know, a day, maybe about a week, yeah, about five days to a week when I was into the writing the script process. I was thinking, you know, I could take my spirit box there. I was like, I can make this into a paranormal thing. And it just all came together, you know, wrapped up in this little bit. It was really cool. Um, 
but yeah, that's that's basically all that we have going on right now. There are a few locations that we're looking at investigating. Uh, there's a few little cemeteries and stuff that you know recently I've discovered that's not terribly far from where we live that I haven't been to yet. So it'd be really cool to uh, go back there. And it feels great that the weather is warming up. That means that you know we're gonna be able to start going to more places again and do more investigations. And that's you know that's one of the things that sucks about winter is you are kind of stuck in one place. Or if you do go out somewhere, you know you pretty much go there and then straight back home. But you can't really enjoy being there because you know it's so cold. You're you know half the time you're there freezing to death. You just you're just in a hurry because you don't want to freeze to death. You know you just want to get back home. So you can't truly enjoy it. So hopefully the weather warms up soon. Uh, if we have anything else coming up, you know, we always post about it here and on our Facebook page and Instagram page. If you haven't followed us on Instagram, that's instagram.com slash Fife Paranormal. I know, catchy name, right? But if you all have any investigations coming up or anything else cool you've been researching, let us know. We always love to hear about what you're doing. Um, you never know when someone's going to bring up a topic that you've never heard before. Uh, you know, they went to some location that you've never heard of, and next thing you know, it becomes your favorite place ever. That's, that's the really cool thing about the paranormal field. But I am Jake from Fife Paranormal. I hope you all have enjoyed this video. Leave a like if you did. Don't forget to comment, subscribe, and share the video if you did enjoy it or you have thoughts. And have a great day, everyone.